What's going on everybody? It's the Creative Fro checking back in for another episode of What I Wish I Knew Wednesdays. And today we're gonna be going over the GoPro. I'm gonna tell you some of the settings that I wish I knew before I got started on it. Before I jump into today's video, let me remind you guys real quick to hit the big red subscribe button and turn that notification bell on just for fun. We have a new creative space being set up. So if you guys wanna check out how that's being built, you can see the VAV vlog coming up soon. So when I first received my small little cube, this GoPro Hero 3 Plus, now I was like, where the heck's the battery? Where's the memory card? How do you charge this thing? How do you turn it on? How do you record? How do you turn it off? So let's just go over some of the basic quick functions that you can do to get your GoPro set up. So the battery is located here on the back. We just need to push this little tab to the left and it brings the back off here. So now our back is off. And then you have the tab here to grab your battery out. And that's how the battery is placed into the GoPro. So for the memory card, it's hidden, but you'd have a side panel here, which I lost mine. So you could take that off and put the SD card right inside of here. And then all you have to do to get your SD card out is push the SD once, it pokes out a little bit, and then you can grab it. Don't forget your memory card or else your GoPro won't record any footage for you. And power button is very simple, right on the front. You're gonna press and hold. And you use the same button to change the functions too as well. The record button is on the top here, this little red circle. You just give that a push to start the recording. On your GoPro itself, for the Hero 3 Silver on the bottom, left side is the small Wi-Fi button. So you want to press it once and then hold. And you'll see a little Wi-Fi signal show up on the screen itself. You'll see a blue flashing LED. I just turned off that LED personally. So now you have your Wi-Fi on and you're going to want to go into the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and choose the GoPro name. So I select that. And once it says you're connected, we can jump over into the GoPro app itself. So in here, what you're gonna find is the camera at the top left, and you wanna select the middle button right here so it starts your preview. And now on your GoPro, you're gonna get a live feedback of what it actually looks like. Before you start your recording, you can make sure everything is in line and how you want it to be. The only downside is when you hit the record button, your live preview stops. So you can't watch the video as it's being recorded. The only way you can look back on the media after is go to the media tab, your library, and you can look back at your videos and make sure that it was shot the way you like it. So now let's go over some of the settings. We're gonna hit the gear tool on the bottom right hand side here. All of these settings should apply for all of the GoPros. So now you're gonna see at the top here, you have your video resolution. You can choose 1080 super, 1080, 960, even 4K too as well. You could choose your frame rate settings. So I always like to do 60, your field of view, you could change a low light. So if you're shooting at nighttime, you want to turn that on. You also have um, the resolution. So this is 12 megapixels. So I chose 12 megapixels to get the most megapixels in my image. Since with the GoPro, it's such a small sensor, you want to get the most out of it you can. Now you're going to scroll down here. You can see this option called ProTune. I like to turn this on because it gives me a flatter color profile. So that way I can really manipulate how the final image looks after it's done being recorded. There's a whole bunch of different options. You get the white balance, your color, your ISO, sharpness, exposure, and you can even format the SD card here. So erase everything. If you need to do that, you can keep the beep on and off. I like to have the beep on so I can hear that it started. Using your phone to remote control the GoPro is probably one of the easiest ways to use this thing. And it's gonna help your video making process a lot easier. There's a quick rundown. If you just got your GoPro today, this video should help you get going right away. I wish I had this video when I first started out because it would have helped me so much. Like the video if you did, comment down below if there's anything you wish you knew and share this video if you think it could help somebody. I gotta get back to working on this creative space. It's a creative fro and I'm out. <laughs>